going on YouTube. Uh, it was the 12.7 Detroit Sister Series, man, last night. I tuned it up. I told y'all I got a custom turbo. Just show y'all. Still got that Challenger too, by the way. Got it all turned out, the headlights. All that good stuff. Got that brand new belt on, as y'all can see. Put on this stuff by Andrew. Got that custom turbo. Got that 171702 turbo. I just tuned it up yesterday, man. I had to uh, order some uh, I had to order this little reader right here for the laptop. YouTube stories. So at first I just had this part right here. It's this this, this, this connects right here. It's a nine-pin connector, but this is a six pin connector, so I got an adapter from here to here. It goes from nine pin to six pin, as y'all can see. That plugs in just like that right there. And then it's USB, so you connect it to the laptop right here. Then I got the Detroit Diesel Calibration tool. And uh, with the custom turbo I got, man, I told y'all I was having on my turbo, man, because I got a big turbo, I was having lagging issues with the turbo, so I needed to dump more fuel in order to produce a little bit more power. I'm gonna show y'all how the tune how the tune came out. I got the truck warming up right now, all that good stuff. Let's check it out. Oh, uh, wait a minute, camera ain't focused. All right, let's see what happened. Ooh, damn it, boy. Sitting at a good about 600 to 650 horsepower. Right, there we go, right there. So, we got that custom tune last night. Like I said, we had somewhere between 600 and 650 at the flywheel. Trying to see what else I need to do. I need to put this third belt on right here. So, uh, in order to do that, the boat right here is a boat that comes straight down. On the top up here, you just unscrew it, <coughs> unscrew it to loosen the belt. You take the belt off around here, and uh, I can replace all three of them belts. So I could do that, and then I replaced all the shots in the back already. Well, I didn't do it. My mechanic did, Manny. Shout out to Manny. We didn't do the front shots, but uh, these shots look good. But I mean, I got two brand new shots sitting right here in the seat. And like I said, I ain't replaced the front shots yet, so I got my impact wrench. Just take that off from my little uh, 1184 socket sitting right here. It is right there, man. Take that right there with my impact. Come through here just like this. Boom. Take that smooth off just like that. You just went right here. Take that off. Went right there. Take that off. Do the other side. Something simple, something simple. And you don't work on equipment whatsoever. I don't work on equipment. I don't tune equipment. I don't do any of this stuff. But uh, y'all yeah, know my mechanic ripped me off in Nashville, so I never, I'm never gonna use them again. So a lot of this work I can just do on my own. You know, I just don't want to do it, but I can do it on my own. So that's what I'm doing now. Yeah. Just getting the truck ready, man. As y'all know, a winter storm came through, called across the United States. So I just decided to sit right here probably to Monday, let all that stuff drop and stuff. So, uh, the plan, I was supposed to be gone today, but we ain't going nowhere. I don't want to be nowhere, trapped in some ice and some snow. So, uh, the only thing left to do is test drive it. I ain't test drove it yet, but I can definitely see the power. We didn't have no black smoke whatsoever, but like I said, we're dumping a little bit more fuel now. You know, the price of fuel went down, and the price of what I charged, it went up. So, you know how that go, but like I said, we got the custom 171702 Turbo. Uh, YouTube.com, you can search that number, type that number, and type Turbo. Pretty sure there's people doing uh, videos on it. I got a custom result manifold, got the high mount, got that with the Turbo. So, uh, it's cheap Turbo, man, uh, $800 roughly. It's Boa Warner, I like Boa Warner. Uh, I got Boa Warner Turbo on this truck, the other truck, uh, the blue truck. Still got the OEM Turbos on there. So, uh, other than that, man, I'm just looking around trying to see what else I want to do on here. I may replace this boot right here just because it's starting to rip right there. I got a spare boot underneath the uh, the 
the freaking uh bed in now and then right here i don't want a boost leak so i need to put a clamp right here close that off hopefully the sun ain't too bright i can't see on the phone yeah y'all can see it as y'all can see i don't want no boost leak right here going to the add air so that's where we at with it right there matter of fact that's not the add air that's the freaking uh, radiator but yeah i don't want nothing leaking out this is the add air right here so yeah i don't want no boost leak so that's tight that's tight hopefully this don't rip Everything tight up here, no hoses up here. Add air, something simple to take off. Well, I need a right right angle impact to get right there, but I don't know. No, I can get it from this one. But everything working good, man. We don't got no boost leads or anything like that on the truck. Um, what else? What else? Uh, I've been pricing tires, man. So far, uh, I got about seventeen fifty. Seven thousand. I mean, my bad. One thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars for a whole back row of tires back here. Over here, Southern Tire Market. I didn't call it like three places, but that's about average. Seventeen fifty. So, as y'all can see, I got a new nail right there in that tire right there. No tread def on here. I got tread def gauge too. Not with me. This tire right here passed for tread def, but that's the only tire that's good back here. This one got nails in it. These two tires right here. I forgot which one of them. One of them got three nails in it. It's this one right here. Got the nail right there. We got some other nails in there too. Got a bad patch right there. So I don't want this tire. This tire, like I said, it's got one nail right there. I think they're going to patch that. It's too close to the sidewall. It's got two other nails somewhere too. So I'm going to take this tire off. Take that tire off. Take that tire off. Might as well just do the whole back row. So 1750, that's what we're looking like. These two tires right here are the only ones that's in the best condition. I'm looking at about, I think it was like 15 to 18 on the tread diff. So these two right here are the only ones that are still good. Um, six tires, he told me, 2,500. So, but I just want the back row for right now. So 1750, if somebody can beat that price, let me know. Nobody hit the email on the tire deal. I ain't got no comments on the tire deal. I may take this off right here. I don't like the way this look. That's a good tool box, but the freaking latch broke off. But it's a good tool box to put stuff in there. But it's heavy on the truck. I get paid by the ton. So uh, less weight, the better. You know, that's where we at with it right there. So truck ready to go, ready to be tested, ready to be tuned. Oh, it's already peaked and tuned. Uh, well, it can still be modified maybe. I, I won't know until I put a load behind to see what else we need to do. We'll try and get 40 PSI on that boost gauge up there. So... So far, we dumped a little bit more fuel. Like I said, the price of fuel then came down and prices I charged and went up. So uh, we're not really worried about fuel prices. I mean, when fuel was $5, uh, I didn't have a problem buying fuel. So now it is $4. Uh, yeah, I mean, we can dump more fuel because I can survive at 5 I don't have no issues in trucking. I'm doing wonderful. So brand new starter, brand new air compressor. Some of these hoses are brand new, brand new. Oh, uh, was that? Forgot the piece. Still know it. Whatever it's called. Air compressor. Air governor. It's air governor. Got that brand new. Uh, we got the pyrometer hooked up, but it don't work, so it need to be replaced. What else? We got new oil pan gas going on down there. I was thinking about putting a new clutch fan on. I was watching the see if uh, if it was any wobbling going on, but I didn't see no wobbling. But you know, that'd be really the only thing else. That right there, I replaced that at the water pump, and uh, I do a bottom engine rebuild with a new oil pump. You know, but. Other than that, man, we ain't got no leaks or nothing like that, man. Truck running smooth, you know, uh, ready to be put in the left lane and just dog, dog all the truck drivers, man. Still out there trying to figure out trucking. Still out there trying to figure out trucking. Man, we got them LED lights installed, too. I just got to do two more gauges, man. I don't know why I keep putting that key right there with my phone number. Y'all going to blow my phone up. Good God. Take that key out with my phone number. You know, every time I show my phone number, that's 9,000 phone calls a day. All right, now. And it is daytime right now. So I don't know what all y'all can see. But we got them blue LED lights installed. You know, it's daytime, so y'all can't really see it. These two right here, they're kind of hard to get, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Got them installed. You know, uh, like I said, the power meter. I got to take this apart and see if it's even hooked up in the back. So I need that power meter because uh, we just did that tune. And I need to measure the uh, exhaust gases and stuff. We got... Uh, the cooling gauge, somebody put this on custom, I don't like it. 
I don't like that gauge. Gauge needs to be taken off and replaced with another gauge. So, 13 speed, brand new transmission, brand new clutch, 2050 clutch. Um, yeah, man, I need to clean it up in here. I think I'm done with the wiring under here. I'm trying to think if I'm going to put a, a LED strip behind here so that these will light up at night too. Because if I'm going to put an LED strip, I might wire it down there into the market lights. But if not, I got the panel right here ready to put that back on. So, CB radio somewhere up in here. Oh, there it is right there. I got the striker right there. So, this is the microphone right there. Mountain already right here. I just got installed it right there. I don't think I got no antennas on this truck. Nope. Uh, we ain't got no antennas, so this truck need to go by a CB shop. Get that all good, ready to go. So, uh, other than that, man, like I said, we pushing someone between 600 and 650 horsepower to the flywheel. So, that's where we at with it. Like I said, I don't work on trucks. I don't tune trucks. I don't do any of that stuff. But, you know, people rip me off around here. So, uh, got to do it myself. Just got to learn myself. Uh, I take the risk, man. I got the money. If the engine blow, I just put a new one in here. So, that's where we at with it, man. There's your update. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. We'll do a test drive video. Um... Uh, whenever I pull up out of here, man, I thought about going to get the tires today. We'll see. We'll see what I do. I don't know. But, uh, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below.